I'm doing this video because uh, Mackie doesn't hasn't seemed to do any podcasts on their Master Fader app in a while, especially one talking about the difference between what we just got, the snapshots and the shows. Here's what the shows and the snapshots are. I went ahead and let's say set up seven snapshots. There's none really set up. I just hit new. I'll even just hit new and make an, an, an eighth one for you. Now, I want to make take these eight snapshots and store them into a specific show. Let's say it's a theater show and I need there's different people coming out at different times instead of having to change the faders, you know, muting and all that stuff, I could just have that preset and just change the snapshots. So I would then store those into a show. So these eight are here. I'm going to hit new and I'm going to name this a play because I have a play going on. I mean, it could be a band. You could set it for a band that maybe needs different things to change. Let's say you need a, a guitar, different guitar. Someone picks up a different guitar. They go from electric to acoustic. You want to turn the electric off. Instead of mute it, have it already pre-set up. So you could just recall the scene that changes guitars. So now, if I hit, you know, if I hit recall or load, I want to load this scene. You see nothing changed because these are stored here. So let's say I want to create, I want to remove, let's, let's say I want to add some stuff. I'm going to name this whatever. Just hit groggy. It actually defaulted to that. Go for, there goes a spell correction for you. I want to hit another one. FCC, wow. Okay. And then I want to, let's say, delete this one. I want to delete this one. I want to delete this one. So now I have, you know, one through seven again, but I have different names. So now I want to take these seven and store them to a new show. Let's say these are different. These are now, these are now my band shows. This one was my play because I'm doing a theater or performance of a play. And these are a band, you know. Um, so I hit new and I call this band. So now I have my band. So now if I, if I, Go to my play, and I, oh, I have to do my play today. Well, I just hit play. I hit load. Look what happens. It recalled the eight that I had. Now I want to say, okay, uh, today's band day, and I need those band snapshots. I'm going to load those band snapshots. They're just different snapshots. And I can name these all what they, you know, what I want to name. So that's what it is. I, I'm just recalling the grouping of snapshots. I'm loading this. No. Now let's say I want a, a new one and I've created a whole bunch more snap. Let's say I could have a, I think they said 99 snapshots. So I have 99 snapshots. I can just, and I don't need all 99. So I want to store, let's say I only need six of them. I want to store those six to a different show. And then another show, I need another eight of them. So now let's say I want to just, let's say I have a show where, you know, it's, it's simple. I only need Let's say I have a band and I've only, I only need one set up for that band. So a new band comes in. I go ahead and create. Look, I've deleted all of them, but if I, if I go back to here, I hit new. Okay, so I've created a new one. Now that new one only has this. It only has this set of snapshots. So if I go to the play again and I load it, there's all eight. If I go to the band, I load it. There's the things that got stored, the groggy, the FCC. And now if I go to, oops, that's the only problem I see is when you hit, every time you hit new, I mean, they should have something where it asks you if you want to create it. I don't like that. You hit new all day long. It keeps adding them. There's no way to go back. I don't like that at all. I mean, it was an accidental push. So that was this one. I'm going to delete this one because this had nothing. So now I go to show. Look, zero. So let's say I, cre I want one, I, I create my snapshot and I go ahead and, you know, change the EQs, do a bunch of things. Let's, let's call this, um, this is the band that I have. Call this band one. So I've gone ahead and recalled band one. Um, I want to, oh, I meant to do show one because this says show. 
But regardless, I can load this show. Bam, I can load this show. See how it changed? I can load the band show that I just set up. And then let's say I have another... Actually, I, didn't, I forgot to store that. Now here's another thing. I forgot to store the show. So you have to remember, let's say I set that up and I say this is the, I don't know, the red band. Okay, I've already loaded the show. You have to actually do this first and then load the show. But because I forgot to do that, you just hit show. You hit replace. Yes, forgot to store it. You got to remember to store them per show. Don't create the show first. Create the set of snapshots first and then create it. Because the other ones aren't disappearing as long as you have them stored. So again, I've got my play with a bunch of scenes that are pre-snapshots that are ready to go. So I can just recall them real quick. And I go load. Yes, there's my play. I have a band that I need to set up uh, with different singers or different guitars. I go load. Yes, there's a whole different thing there. Then I need this next band. I need the red band recalled. I would probably say red one there. And I go load and bam, there's my red. So it's just a grouping of snapshots loaded into these individual shows. I hope everyone gets that. Um, if you do go ahead, I think if you delete these shows, it's going to get rid of your snapshots because your snapshots are now stored per show. But what you probably could do too is maybe just keep creating these you know, things that you need. I don't know if this works. And then store them the default. Nope, default is something completely different. Default is just the board, I guess, whatever is the set. I don't know. So I've loaded the default. Let me load. So there's 0, 3, 8. Now, like I said, I guess there's no way to actually individually store all these settings because if I do go in and I delete this play, it's going to remove all these eight snapshots. They're all going to disappear because I've stored them to this play. At least that's the way I'm seeing it right now. So I hope you understand that each one of these is a grouping of these. This band would be a grouping. So, And you could use totally different groupings. I don't like the fact that it says 1 through 8, 1 through 8, or 1 through 3, whatever you set up, and then you have to look for the name on the bottom. I would rather have this entire title change so that you know that everything's changing. So let's say I choose the band, which I know has that groggy in FCC. And I load this. If you look down at Groggy and FCC, that changed there. But it's still, it's kind of confusing a little bit. I would rather have the entire thing change. I mean, you just got to remember that that's your actual name of what you're using at the time. And then, of course, I have my band show red with just one setup. I load that. Bam. Now, like I said, if I go ahead and delete this. Red's still there for now, because I just deleted it, but I haven't changed the scene, so if I go to my play now, I load this, well, red's gone. I have no way to recall red right now, because it's gone. I, I could have restored it again with a new scene, but I didn't, so red would now be gone. Um, and you can delete these, but if you delete the show, you delete all the snapshots in that show. If you delete the snapshot, you're not really doing anything because the, sh the show's holding the snapshot. I could delete this. I could delete this. I could delete this. But when I recall it, because they're already stored in the show, they're going to come right back. See? I hope you get that. Um, and enjoy the Master Fader app.